In the same time that astronauts have been going up in the sky, I've been going down in the ocean. I have thousands of hours as a witness. I've used more than 30 different kinds of submarine. So I've lived underwater more than, well, thousands of hours, 10 times in little underwater habitats. As a witness, getting to know life in ways that most people have not yet had an opportunity to do. So I cannot just stay quiet. We're the ones who are causing problems, but lucky us, we also can understand the solutions. Economists tend to follow the money. Climate scientists and the biologists, they're following the carbon. And we're winding up at the same place. Follow the carbon, climate, ocean, prosperity, the economy, it all comes together. We have been causing the decline of the natural world, which means a decline of the economy. If we destroy nature, there is no economy. There's no life either. Si me permites, ¿cuántos años tienes y hasta cuándo vas a seguir generando esa conciencia? I'm not old enough yet. <laughs> Why? Well, I mean. As long as you breathe, as long as you have life, uh, this is a moment in time when you should be inspired to do whatever you can and restore what we can while we still have a chance. You can send cameras, you can send robots, but there is nothing like sending yourself a human being. The deeper you go, the less we know, but the more new discoveries we find, and we've only begun in the 21st century to begin to lift the lid on the ocean and see what's actually there. The technology now exists to do what could not be done when I was a child or at any time in all preceding human civilization. Quanta vida hay abajo? Yeah, well, most of life on Earth lives in the dark. The greatest diversity and abundance of life on Earth is in the ocean below where sunlight shines. It's a big concept. It took me a while to grasp the significance of the immense space, the living space, 97% of Earth's living space, the so-called biosphere, is ocean space, and most of it is below where sunlight shines. You know, whatever we have put a dollar sign on, whatever we take to market, we can quickly deplete, and we have. But the awareness is now growing, and the protection is also growing. You can't care if you don't know. And we're right at this point when we're owned with knowledge about how important the ocean is, not just as a source of products and food, but the ocean keeps us alive. Nunca ha desaparecido tu capacidad de sorpresa, no importa cuántos buceos o inmersiones. 
Well, every day is a miracle. I mean, when you think about it, Earth itself is a miracle. The stars, the universe, is so beautiful, but it's really not very friendly. Earth is the only place that life, as we know it, exists. I mean, there are no elephants on Mars or anywhere else in the universe, just here, no whales, no sharks. And we need to appreciate them, respect them. Okay. Long clear, go ahead. Clear, go ahead. Um, well, but I'm waiting here of the uh, one, two, zero, one, two, zero, one, two, zero, one, two, 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 one, Estamos a más de 100 metros de profundidad. Se ve la pérdida de la luz. Pero como bien dice Silvia, this is where life truly starts to begin. Es aquí donde comienza verdaderamente la expresión de vida. The greatest diversity and abundance of life on Earth is in the deep sea. And we're just beginning to explore it. You telling me there's photosynthesis going on here? Yes. Yeah, hay fotosíntesis aquí. Even though it looks very dark, it's like in a rainforest. A casi 200 metros, almost 200 meters deep. Right. A long time quest has been how deep in the ocean does photosynthesis occur? And we know that it's much deeper than had previously been thought. And measurements from the top by satellites cannot penetrate more than a few meters. So what's below that is generally not taken into account. And it's important because where is oxygen generated? Where is capture? Where is carbon captured? It's a climate consideration. Uno de cada dos alientos los debemos al océano, is that right? Probably more. I mean, it's minimum. I mean, most of the heavy lifting of oxygen generation is in the ocean. We can't solve climate crisis unless we solve the ocean crisis. We can't solve the ocean crisis unless we solve the climate crisis. It's like this. <laughs> the ocean is truly where the action is. Without the ocean, there would be no climate, let alone a planet that works in our favor. Okay.